All right, y'all, what's up? So today I got a very different video from you guys. It's not a rant, it's just a test. I, I bought this setup instead of a GoPro. I bought a setup that's gonna help me create this new series that I'm working on for you guys. So we're gonna use this video as a test before that series launch. If this video goes as what I, I hope it does, then <laughs> I will use this setup in that new series I'm starting specifically for Chicago. So, you know what I'm saying? If you've been looking for something like that, stay tuned. But let me show you guys the setup. All right, so instead of me buying a GoPro, I figure like, well, I have an old iPhone 10 that I don't use and it does up to 4K 60, it is water resistant and has some of the best footage that you can get out of a device. So I figure, well, instead of me spending an extra hundred some dollars on a GoPro, well, probably two, three hundred dollars for the one I wanted, use my old iPhone. So we're gonna see how this looks to get you guys some real, um, FPV point of view shots when I'm using the Sigma 16 mil. All right, so I'll be with my boy Sean Mouse today. You know what I'm saying? My partner I shoot weddings with, do a lot of my stuff with my partner. Y'all know him by now. And, um, you know, we're gonna see what the Sigma 16 mil can do. It's, it's kind of around golden hour. We, we'll be venturing to nighttime shots as well with this lens. So let's go. All right, y'all, so the place we will be starting the street photography at is gonna be downtown Chicago. Let's go ahead and uh, switch camera views. Hey, did you need my help? What? Did you need me? Uh-uh. Do we see anything here? Let's see. Maybe. Hopefully you guys can see that. Right there. Yeah, that's a tad bit closer. Now, again, this is equivalent to like a 32, so quite a 35 but you know it gets the job done got two darts crank the ice so crank the ice just a bit he's getting a shot for something else for another one of his videos also let me know what you guys think about the audio you just walking around here come out yeah oh. we're recording oh, okay. all right so what you need to do oh, i'm the second pictures bro what that no oh, I'm to... oh okay right. they, they're they're just here to watch me take my pictures fpv ah uh, i got you okay so it's like wherever like wherever you was trying to go like specifically your shots it don't matter i can take pictures whatever gotcha. i know you guys can see that the way the angle i was angled on my chest but let me see if i can get it again Hey, Sean, look, yep. Step back a little bit. Right there. So keep in mind, y'all, with this camera, everything does not need to be at f1.4. You know what I'm saying? Don't be, don't be afraid to pull the ice up a little bit. You got up the 16 other stops you can use. Let's see. 16 other stops you can use other than 1.4. Just saying. I was trying to let them know that everything don't have to be ice. I mean, uh, f1.4 for the shot to look good. I know they'd be used to. Boca, 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 boca. It's not. I just stopped down to F7. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn. Bro, I told you this water been rising, you know what I'm saying, for quite a while now. I'm actually feeling this picture here. I wish I wish I can shoot it. It's still huh. pretty bright outside. Yeah. Alright, indeed.
What's up guys, a little heads up. If you ever trying to get a specific shot, especially long exposure, and you and it's still too bright outside, just grab an ND book. This is a step up ring for me to use it on that particular lens. We're gonna try it for 15 seconds. And just to see if we can get this water movement the way we wanted to have it. Let's see. Uh, no, I shot that again. Uh, it ain't really what I was looking for, but it's passable. I can probably bring back some of the highlights on that one, but whatever, it'll do. Back in the book bag, you go. All right, so I am curious, guys. What do you guys think about the shot so far? How does everything look? Um, you know, so far, I'm digging it. Is the FP view making y'all sick? Let me know about that in the comments down below. I'm trying to make sure this is, this is going to be, this is crucial to the next series I'm going to drop. So I need to make sure that it's good. So let me know. If it's not good, then your boy gonna need to make some changes and I'm probably gonna hand invest to a GoPro. But I think the iPhone is, you know, I think she, I, I think she doing all right. So right now I can already see that it's super overexposed just based off these bars here. It's looking like I'm gonna have to put my ND filter out again, but I'm just gonna take it just to see what it comes up with. Since it's already propped up how I need it to be, it should just take this with no problem. came out yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and get my nd filter I, i'm gonna need it i'm gonna need it let's turn constant preview off maybe that'll help us see it better what i did doing that damn freezing let's turn it on there we go okay so now we gotta i'm gonna do 30 seconds which i know is probably too much but because this is a yeah let's let's try 25 so it's not that I have the ND filter on it, it's a little top heavy, so I'm just holding it down with my finger. Maybe, maybe the water's a little silky smooth. How we, let me see if I can bring closer. The water's a little silky smooth, how we like it a little bit, but I'm gonna just go, it's the, the skies are really blowing. Let me try one more. I'll take it for now. It's gonna do for now, I can tell you that. I will take it for now. I like it. All right, let's focus close on something. See if we can get those vocal cords. Then go ahead and go to manual, just so we can. Yep. Good vocal bars. Like the vocal bars. Hope y'all like the vocal bars. Let's see if we can get some more vocal bars. Maybe we can add some texture to it, or as a candy, as a candy, the candy shoes do it. Some, some, some clarity. Add a little clarity to it. It should be all good. Also, just an update for you guys, if you guys are curious about how the iPhone is actually recording, it's been recording for 35 minutes now, 4K24, and it's nowhere near close to being hot. Pretty impressed. Still happy I chose this over the GoPro. All right. I'm gonna join you in photographer mode. All right. I still be doing some type of handheld shooting, but like I said, it's just to get, you know, B roll. Yeah, I got the shots I really want to get. I wasn't gonna, I, I didn't want to kind of keep you guys at the same spot, but I already want y'all, I already want to think I'm gonna get the shot. I want the boat to come a little bit closer in. I could, I could punch in, but who's gonna do all that? Like that, light streams. I'm gonna see if I could do 15 seconds. Hopefully, I get it. Towards the boat. Hard, hard. That's hard. Tack shark. Woo! I like, I like it. That's what I was looking for, right oh, there. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for, right there. Yeah. All right, y'all. I wish if I, if I'd have shot it just a little bit faster, I probably kind of got the boat just a little bit further back. But this might be y'all thumbnail. <laughs> this, this may be the thumbnail for the video. Uh, you want to try to get that bow shot again across going the other way? Yeah, yeah. I didn't set up the exposure at all. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't even. 
I just took it over there to say, well, we'll see what happens. It's all right. Yeah, like it's the same thing with me. Like I'll take it, I'll show you mine. I'll take it, but it. I like this one better. Yeah, that one's better. All right, so it's been a while since we actually went out and shot some shit, bro. What's funny is, bro, you be having me do shit I typically don't do, though. No bullshit. I, I, Sean, I don't fucking set timers for shots. Well, you got the GH5 Ivy, so I got concerned <laughs> about you know, my button press was going up. Well, even with the GH5 Ivy. You still, yeah, you still want to be, you know, it's nothing wrong with being just a little bit extra sure. Yeah. But the timer is just like a, we, we got it from here. Uh -huh. So I know over there on Michigan Ave, there's going to be a lot of traffic. You should be the first to get it. Like, Long exposures. No, I really want to do something. This building in the middle? Yeah. I know, I'm thinking like, um, the, only, the only thing I could think, I ain't got a tripod though. But like a long exposure with the car zooming past, it would be fire. Um, but I'm thinking we probably can get closer and prop our cameras up again. See, I would need my zoom lens for this. I think I do it. I can, I'm gonna try to do a long exposure y'all for five seconds in the hand. Not at all. But, uh, Ooh, that shit hard. hard. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that, what, what was your exposure on? See, now we talking. I wanted to get close to, like, you know what I'm saying, to the building itself and still get the light trails. And the question is, where am I going to get it without all this shit in the way? Yeah, this looking like the one for me. All right, child, we going to set up right here. We got a shutter speed of 15 seconds. When these cars whiz past, we should be able to get this building in focus along with these other cars coming to get this light streak. But the moment it hit green, we see these cars. Then I'm gonna hit it. Right when I see the cars getting ready to come. Boom. If this car wasn't sitting right here, this would have been good. This would have been real good if this one car was not sitting right here at this red light. So if y'all ever wanted to know which building that was, that be doing like all the symbols and stuff that y'all be seeing in Chicago, hopefully y'all can see it. It's the, it's the thing that's a Sheridan. Just in case you can see it on camera, here it is. The GH5. Look at that Ibis. Can't even tell this lens is not optically stabilized. All right, y'all so gonna try a portrait photo real quick just to see how we can get some vocal balls. I know y'all love that word, vocal balls. Like, that's actually hard, look. Like, I'm gonna get a little closer, get your, get your, I was gonna say, get your camera out of here. Actually, this works quite well. Little baby vocal balls from the 32. Do another vocal ball test real quick just to see how it's produced. That's recording wise. All right, y'all, let's see what we can uh, come up with here. Definitely over the See if we can get a little lower. All right, y'all. And uh, I think that's going to do it. Are we still walking this way, Sean? I think that's it for the street photography. Let's go back to the crib and talk about it and kind of give you my thoughts on the photos. All right, y'all, so welcome back. We at the crib. Obviously, this is a whole different day, different outfit, uh, different everything. Um, but my first, like, so my initial thoughts on using a Sigma 16 mil for street photography, I think it's a fantastic lens, honestly. You know, it's, it's very versatile. Even if you want to do a punch in on, on the actual sensor, now you're, going, you're, you're giving the equivalent of like a 50 mil. Um, as far as low light is concerned, as you can see, it handled low light very well. Obviously, on most of those shots, it'll be at f1.4, 
But nonetheless, though, you know, you're able to get some really good shots, good long exposures. I mean, overall, like bang for buck, the Sigma 16 mil is a great, uh, a great overall all around lens. And I would definitely recommend it to be your first pickup. Uh, but other than that, please leave your feedback. This is a new series, man. Let me know, you know, let me know everything. What you didn't like, what you did like, what I should keep, what I should not keep, all that. I'm really curious to hear you guys' feedback on this video because the series I want to create is going to be something similar to this, just a little bit, just a little bit more focused, if that makes sense. So, it's your boy Sean Brooks, man. I'm out. Deuces.